channel i am alexis the mp welcome if you are new what's up what's up what's up what's up, what's up? <laughs> welcome if you are new we discussed many things on this channel today's a little small snippet of a weekend day in the life i guess um it's saturday today is the 14th i believe don't quote me i lose track of the days but i think it's january 14th um I don't really know what time it is on Saturdays. I usually do sleep in a little bit. I think I got up maybe around 9 this morning. So I did a quick little 20-minute workout, took my shower. I'm about to do a little bit more of my skincare. I already cleansed my face off with this here. This is the Dermalogica Oat Milk Daily Micro Exfoliant. So I cleansed my face off with that, about to wipe down, tone up a little bit. Put on my serums, vitamin C serums, moisturizer, sunscreen, and then I'm gonna head out the door. Uh, so let me get into that. Stay tuned. On the agenda, I'm supposed to be going to this little coffee shop that I saw, and I'm gonna do maybe two hours or so of some telemedicine, just a little extra money. Um, so, and hopefully I can get something to eat there. You know, um, the coffee shop I believe is called Salt or Salt Crave, something like that here in Lincoln City, Oregon. So I'm gonna go check it out. But I need to see what the weather is like because 
I'm not trying to be too cold. And I know it rains, y'all, it rains here every day, so. And yep, it's definitely raining right now. The high for the day is 55, the low is 46. It currently says it's 53, let me go outside. Anybody else do this? I'm definitely one of those who will go outside and see what the weather really feels like because the phone can say one thing, but what does it feel like? Let me step out. Mm. I should be okay. Okay, so it, it feels like a, a true 53, but if the wind start to hit, it's really finna feel like a 40. So I'm probably just gonna put on like a nice little sweater with the undershirt or something like that. Hopefully I won't be too hot in the coffee shop because it's always warm inside. It's the outside that be killing me. You know, the, the commutes, the in-betweens, that's what be killing me. So let me go get dressed. All right, y'all, I am all dressed. I just put on a sweatshirt and I just got an undershirt on with it and some leggings, some boots. This place ain't got a full length mirror, so yeah, I'm hating it, but let's go to the coffee shop, knock this little telemed ship out the way, get something to eat, and see where the day takes us. with my telemedicine shift nice and easy it was so cute in there i'm definitely coming back but now i think oh shoot i think i'm gonna go on over to walmart oh y'all this car waiting on me hold on let me move out of this way before um he honk at me Sorry. All right. Okay, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna ride over to Walmart because I need to get a few things. Um, if you watch my last vlog, it was definitely talking about with my vision board, you know, being prepared, planning for the year. Um, but I definitely forgot to get my 2023 planner. I went to go grab my planner because I thought some planners, you know, from the year prior, especially when I went from 2022, usually it'll come with like a few months of 2023 in it, like at least a good six months, but that one didn't. So I need to go get a new planner. I also need another expandable file folder uh, for my receipt for tax purposes. So, uh, I think I'm going to go over there, do that, and then the Jacksonville Jaguars, my hometown team, have a game today, and the Bucks, my second home team, <laughs> they got a game tomorrow, so I'm going to go home after I leave Walmart to try to catch the game to see what the Jaguars talking about. All right, y'all, I done pulled up to Walmart. <clears throat> I usually don't go to Walmart, but you know, I don't really have a choice here because the nearest Target is um, like 50 minutes away. So we're not doing that. 
you're gonna go into walmart because you know what walmart really do be having the, the things um i think we forgot where our roots were we just don't like the lines in walmart that'd be the only thing but walmart really do be teased sometimes and then maybe i can go in here and not spend over a hundred dollars for my items that's gonna be the goal i should not be going over a hundred dollars in here because i'm just getting a few things honestly it really shouldn't be over like 75 but i'm gonna I'm put myself at 100 so let's go up in here and see what they got hopefully they got some cute stationary planners and things like that so let's run up in here show y'all what I picked up from Walmart so this here is the planner that I got it's super cute it has in like little gold metallic 2023 on the front and the reason I picked this one uh, just because it had a lot of little personals that I like so I had on here work goals personal goals you can do like a little to-do list here on the side, what you're grateful for, what you're excited about for the months to come, and then different things that you can jot down. So it's kind of like combined journaling in a sense, a little bit, um, as well as the calendar for the month. So I really did like that. And then it's kind of small, not too big, not too uh, large. Definitely something that's gonna be very easy to carry. I can always just throw it in my bag. So that's that. So uh, instead of getting a brand new expandable file folder, folder, I just got this document folder because I already have an expandable file folder that I've been using for the past year since I started traveling as a nurse practitioner and all of my receipts are in there. But once I found my taxes for this year, I was like, do I throw away the old receipts? But me, I'm a hoarder, so I'm gonna keep them. But I guess I can just put them in these and then reuse the expandable file folder for this year, just starting over with the receipts that I have so far. So that's my plan. These have like a little zip on the top and then they open up. So I can just drop the receipts down in here and that works. Versus just buying a whole new folder because I have to keep in mind that I have to travel back home with all this stuff and I already have an issue over packing. So, yeah. Um, I bought just another little workout set. And, y'all, this little jacket right here, this is kind of like that little BBL jacket that they got on Amazon. This was only, I think, $10, $15. This one was $15. These were $10. So, I bought... These just as another little workout set. And then I got a new candle. So y'all, this is the candle that they say smells just like Baccarat. I'ma light it up. It really does give a little bit of that Baccarat Burberry Her. So if you're that type of a person, I think you'll enjoy this one. I really enjoyed this one too. I didn't get another scent like this. I was like, let me try something different. But this one, child, it's burned down to the bottom, okay? This is a good smelling candle. So, but 
I'll give this one a try. I wanted the smaller size, but they only had this one in the larger candle, this scent. So I'll give it a try. And then what else? Bought some different acne gel. That's part of my everyday skincare. I needed some more cinnamon, so I picked up that. Needed some more olive oil to cook with. I needed a comb just because I'm planning to wash my hair and find someone out here to do me some box sprays. So I didn't bring like a large comb to really comb through my real hair when I take these um, meat meal braids out. So yeah, I bought a bigger comb to really help detangle and blow dry. It's a blow dryer here. Hopefully it works. Um, I already have shampoo and conditioner, so I'm gonna try to blow dry, detangle my hair, and prep it for the braids whenever I can find someone. It's been kind of difficult in the location that I'm in. And then lastly, some protein shakes. So I picked up vanilla and then cake batter. I haven't uh, had cake batter before, but Premier protein shakes are pretty good. They're low on sugar. I think low on carbs too and then they're very high in protein so overall that was it so all in all the goal was to spend less than a hundred dollars and i came in right at 92 dollars and 71 cents so yeah i did a real good job today i picked me up a pizza and some wings I'm gonna have to put it in the oven, but I'm gonna get ready for the game. So what's a better game meal than some pizza and wings? I tried this place called Tie Dye Pizza, one of their local specialties around here. This is the pizza. I got the one that's called a combo pizza. So it had pepperoni, sausage, peppers, tomatoes, olives, all of that on there mushrooms i think too so i'm gonna give that a go with my little wine turn on the game and wish my boys some luck see how we do if we'll be advancing and yeah that's gonna be it for today so let me put my little pizza slices in the oven I don't mean I like to get it poppin', but these bitches in my penis call me out to choose some violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm scared, I'm not always on the lowest. Cause if you can keep it, then nobody knows. I need you to get the fuck on my space. The basement's on the way, please don't break. That pussy's feeling like the way to scare. I am stressed. The Jags know they'll stress you out like no other. <laughs>